So we have our little blog here. We can view posts. We can click through and view the permalink for the post, but we don't yet have any comment section. So what is the relationship between a post and a comment? Well, let's just think about it. Every single post can have one or more comments, right? Or in other words, a post has many comments. And the inverse would be true too. A single comment will belong to a post. Okay, let's figure out how to make this work. It sounds like we're gonna have a comments table. So let's do this. Let's make a new model called comment, but I also want a migration in the process, all right? So that will now give us a comment model, and I will update this so that we're extending our own custom model that we created. Okay, great. But now, because we added the M flag, we'll also have a create comments table migration. So a comment consists of, well, the body of the comment, of course, but a comment belongs to a post. We talked about that, right? So it sounds like we need to have some link between a comment and a post. So maybe we can provide the post ID to allow for that. Now, later, when we get into authentication, we may also decide that a comment belongs to a user. So we would add that as well. But for now, let's keep it simple. All right, I'm gonna migrate my database. Great, so if I switch to SQL Pro now and give it a refresh, we now have a comments table with a location to the post. That way I can say, this is a great post, and then we'll say it belongs to the post with an ID of five. That means this particular comment belongs to this post. And in fact, let's do the post with an ID of six. This comment belongs to that post. Why don't we add one more? So I'm gonna duplicate this. Couldn't agree more, nice post. Okay, good deal. So now if we switch back, let's declare our relationships within each model. We've specified that a post can have many comments right? Well, let's specify this. If I want to fetch the comments associated with the post, Eloquent gives us a has many method, and we'll provide the class name. Now, if you're not familiar with this syntax, this will just return a string representation of the full class path. So it's equivalent to saying this. But I think you'll find in PHP 5.5 and above, most people will use this. It's especially good for IDEs, clicking through to the comments and things like that. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm gonna boot up PHP Artisan Tinker and then find that post. There it is. And next, we'll say post, and I'm not gonna call this as a method, I'm gonna call it as a property. And when Laravel sees this, it will know to eager load the relationship. So if we run it now, we fetch only the comments that have a post ID equal to the ID of the post. So that means if we were to find another post, maybe that one, well, I don't think we have any other comments. So if we run it, we'll get a collection, but notice that its contents are empty. So we get an empty collection in that case. Okay, great. Now, what about the inverse? What if I have a comment and I wanna fetch the post associated with it? All right, well, once again, what we wanna do is comment and then give me the post, right? So that means the function should be called post. And what is the relationship? A comment belongs to a post, so that's the one we call. Okay, let's try it again. I'm gonna close it out, reopen Tinker, find the first comment, we'll save that to C, and now I'm gonna get the post associated with it. Done. This particular comment is associated with this post. It's really, really easy when you get right down to it. So now, let's go back to, well, let's think about it, let's go to Chrome. We're on a specific post page, but below the post, I wanna display all of the comments. All right, let's try this. When we show a post, so we'll go to this view, right down here, we could have a section for the comments, and we could say for each post comments as comment, then maybe we'll echo out an article that contains each comment. So for example, we might say comment body. Okay, so we should have two here, right? We refresh and there's terrible styling, but sure enough, there we go. Let's do this. Let's separate it with a horizontal rule, give it a little spacing. So why don't we do this? I think we might be able to get away with uh, a basic list group. So let's wrap this, and then each of these will be a list item with a class of list group item. It's just a, a Twitter bootstrap component. Let's see if that looks any better. Yeah, fair enough. We don't have any user or anything like that. So uh, at the very least, this will get us started. And in fact, we could even do something like this. 
or maybe within strong tags, we could show how long ago it was posted. So we'll say comment created at, and we learned in the last lesson that created at, well, that's going to be an instance of the carbon library. So why don't we call diff for humans? And that's gonna show us a readable form of how long ago it was published. Yeah, something like that. So let's add a colon and then a space. Yeah, perfect. Good enough for our needs, right? So now these comments will only display for the post they belong to. Not this one, not this one, but there are comments for this one. Why don't we go back to the post with an ID of one and we'll add a comment for that. We're just gonna do it manually here and then later we'll set up a form. All right, refresh, and there you go. We have a comment now. Now the next episode should mostly be a review because we've already learned how to create a form and display errors. So we'll knock out the process of leaving a comment very, very quickly.